today we're going to make a little video that maybe answers some questions if someone may have them about different ways of mounting a ghost or a wolf or wolfman. So we have a booster assembly which consists of a encapsulator, a piston, a spring, and a back cap. We also have three lug and fixed mounts. Let's dive into those a little bit more. Let's talk about when you would choose the right mount for your situation. Say you have just for example a fixed barrel 9mm like a sub gun or PCC maybe you might want to do a fixed mount on that or you could do three lug as well on that you've got a couple of options there where the piston assembly comes into play is always going to be on handguns that link down so the barrel reciprocates back a little bit you're gonna want to put a booster assembly on those let's assemble it and I'll come in and you can take a closer look okay let's take a little look at um, we're gonna cover a couple things here and I'll try not to do it too fast when you put your piston assembly in you're going to take the encapsulator in and out for that. The reason it does that is so when you take your fixed mount or three lug and install it in the can, you're not going to put carbon inside the encapsulator so the piston won't go back in after you're done shooting a bunch with three lug or a fixed mount. So this mount basically is this is just a standard um, M4 carbine butt stock wrench. It's made, it, not every single brand of M4 butt stock wrench fits, but a great majority of them will. And you would just tighten that down in and voila, you're ready to fix mount. Now let's throw the booster in this. So, what I like to do is install the encapsulator. I'll tighten it in the same way. Put my little wrench on there. I'll tighten that down. This is kind of a little clean tip for you. I like to take the piston and turn it and use it as a scraper. Just kind of scrape that in and out. Ah, see how nice and effortless that was? Now that piston will go right in there. Got that a little tight for my own good. Okay. So your piston spring. Now that's freshly scraped out. That'll go right in there. You're going to want to, there's an o-ring here and you're going to want to put a little lube on the piston. So here let me grab some and I'll show you. I don't want to leave a super important step out. You just here and there want to lube that a little bit so that piston freely moves there and it doesn't shred that o-ring. So voila, that's ready to shoot. Now I'm going to put it on the gun and I like to do a little kind of a easy function test here that's fairly helpful. If it's all carboned up in there and you compress that spring by pulling it out, it'll be either sluggish or it won't want to retract the piston. But if you do a little snap test, boom, that'll fire 100% just like that. There's also a, I should have mentioned this, there's 10 different positions that this can can index around to move the stack around on the barrel for point of impact shift. And the way that you change those locations is you just pull the spring off of the 
notches and rotate it around. Hopefully that helps put your groups on the bullseye where your metallic sights are. Okay, I know that wasn't exactly super exciting, but hopefully that answered some questions for some of you out there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Some buttons should be poking up right now. If you'd hit one of those, that'd really help us and keep me out of trouble with our marketing guy. Hit it. Come on, it's not that hard, dude.